welcome to a new vlog. Uh, it's Halloween today, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I just finished up the last vlog and I figured I'd kickstart this one right now because we're out and about. We are kind of just popping it through like all the stores we like to go to for like holiday decor and stuff just to kind of sneak a peek at what Halloween is still available. We were just at Michael's and we actually got a really good deal. We got a cauldron and two black like flake fake plants for twenty dollars i'll show you when we get home because they were having a really good sale um and we're also just kind of pre-scouting out holiday decor because i am decorating for christmas tomorrow um november 1st is christmas first in our household just like august 1st is halloween first in our household yeah. and listen i know i'm gonna get somebody that says what about thanksgiving what about thanksgiving what about it what like about just because it? i have a christmas tree up doesn't mean i don't care about thanksgiving Zane and I do low-key things for Thanksgiving anyways. We just do our own thing. Like we still make food, but it's just us. And for me and for him, it's all just the holidays for us. It's just one conglomerate and it's amazing. So, oh, we should get some ice cream in yeah. this 50 degree weather. And I'm bringing the coupon. <laughs> but yeah, uh, just kind of pre-scouting out some Halloween, not Halloween, holiday decor and seeing what Halloween decor is still out. So when we get back, I will show you what I gather yeah. Do you have any thoughts? No thoughts, Heather. I literally knew you were going to say that. <laughs> All right. So at Michael's, we got this cauldron that I might keep out year round, but I might put away. I haven't decided. And these black plants, all of these were super discounted. We got these for like $20 total. Um, but these black plants we'll have out year round. At Joann's, they were also having a big sale. Uh, we got two of these. They technically do have orange like glitter on it, but it's basically all black. So we'll keep these out year round. Um, found this one for super cheap. That'll go on our spooky tree in our bedroom because we're gonna do a spooky tree over there. Um, and then for our main tree, our thing is we love like little critters and little snowy things, just cute little animals. So all of these cute animals stole our hearts. We love them. And then at Target, I found this white bat sweater, which is so cute. And then I found these that'll also be perfect for our spooky Nightmare Before Christmas, Halloween Christmas bedroom. On Amazon the other day, I placed an order, so I figured I'd just show you. I got these for our downstairs tree because I thought they'd be cute with the snowy animals and critters and stuff, and the lights will glow nicely. I found this tree skirt. It's just like black and white circle, and I thought this would be cute in the Nightmare Before Christmas bedroom. And I found these two ornaments as well, for obvious reasons. At Bell outlet I found these I thought they were cute and kind of go with our theme that we like we just like lots of white and little bits of green and stuff and then we found this blanket at TJ Maxx which is also super cute and very soft so yeah that's where we're at so far first peppermint mocha of the season I found this cute pink peppermint whipped cream at Target yesterday and I'm so happy about it Ooh, we're off to a good start Edelin is very excited about it <laughs> When I say Nightmare Before Christmas is my go-to decorating movie, I am not lying. Base one is done. Now I have to assemble the rest of it. Almost all the Halloween got packed up except for this stuff. Uh, I need an extra bin, so I'm gonna wait until I unpack some of the Christmas over here and I'll use one of these bins. And actually a lot of the Halloween went in our bedroom because we're doing like a super Halloweenified Nightmare Before Christmas kind of thing in there. Um, but yeah, this is where we're at so far. This is majestic as hell and I'm so excited. I haven't even fluffed it up yet. It just came like this. It looks so pretty already. Obviously, I'm gonna fluff it up more and make it look even better, but it's so cute. There are these beautiful, dewy, snowy pieces everywhere. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed and I've never had a tree this big in my life. I'm so excited about this. It's so cute. Oh, it's so pretty. We have a owl we usually put up top but he's in one of the bins still but i just love this and i really like these kind of clear ornaments because the lights just shine so nicely and we have lots of space to continue collecting which is amazing all right update i have noelle from disney plus playing favorite christmas movie ever um everything is out so these are the things that like i just keep up year round regardless of the season i still have some spooky stuff over here like this is just kind of my spooky corner I might like garnish it with little things of garland and things like that, but that's pretty much going to always stay that way. And I'm just going to like add to it. All the Christmas is out. I don't have near as much as I used to. Box the tree came in. I'm going to toss this so that I can just buy a reusable bag to store my tree in for the coming years. A um, big pile of blankets and towels I need to wash. All the Halloween is put away. Yes. Flowers. It's coming together. I mean, it's not yet, but <laughs> we are... 
on our way. But yeah, I definitely don't have near as much Christmas decor as I do Halloween decor. Do you want to see the amount of Halloween decor I have? Let me show you in this garage. I organized it today. So both of these bins are Halloween. Both of these bins are Halloween. These used to carry Christmas, but I gained so much Halloween that I needed more bins. Um, those are some Halloween things. And technically this bin will also have Halloween, but it's outdoor stuff. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. <laughs> All right, hello. It's a few hours later. I finished my decorating for now and it looks so good, but I'm gonna wait until tonight to show you so it's like extra magical. Um, I filmed this look very simple. Should already be up on my Instagram well before this vlog goes up. And I filmed my little recent new makeup releases PR roundup review, which will also be up by the time this vlog goes up. So you can go check those videos out. Tonight, we're actually gonna go to Jacksonville. I convinced Zane that we should go after he gets off so we can go to Christmas tree shops and old time pottery and at home so I can see more decor now that everything is laid out. We need a new tree skirt and we need new stockings and I want like placemats. There's a few things that I want that we just don't have. So I want to do some browsing. So we're gonna do that tonight. So yeah, I think that's all I really wanted to pop on and say. I'll probably just see you later if we buy anything and I'll show you the decor. So I actually decided I don't feel like going to Jacksonville tonight. I just kind of want to be lazy and hang out at home and clean up the outdoor Halloween decor. And plus I think we're gonna go to Universal in Orlando on Sunday anyway. So we can just do that after we get our Universal fill the first half of the day because we don't stay a whole day anyways. So we might as well hit up those stores in that area later instead of going today. Um, but I did just go to the store and pick up a couple packages. So I will show you those when I get inside. One's a subscriber gift and one is a new ColourPop release. So I got the sweetest gift from Jennifer. These cute hair clips. Edelyn is screaming. It's not dinner time yet. It's almost time. <laughs> Um, and also this cute skeleton choker. I love them so much and you guys know I like the spooky year round So this is perfect. And then she made me these bracelets. They're so pretty with the skulls and bats And this one is so cool. It has little bats on it and it says batty bean. I could cry This is so sweet. Thank you for your note too, Jennifer if you watch this. Thank you so much I'm so touched and then from ColourPop they're coming out with this uh, Quartz collection, which I'm actually really excited about I think I'll film with it tomorrow since it got to me so early um, it's a palette and it's really pretty. You guys know I like cool tone neutrals when it comes to neutrals. Um, and then they came out with three pressed glitters that are separate from the actual collection, which is revolutionary. They need to keep doing this. I'm sick of pressed glitters being inside their palettes and I like them being separate because then I can just grab them whenever I want to. I'm not anti-glitter, but I am anti-glitter in palettes. And then just a couple cream gel liners and then lippy sticks. So. I'm gonna play with this collection tomorrow. Look at how magical and beautiful. Oh, I love it so much. Here's kind of what I did with the entertainment center. I was just going for kind of an enchanted forest, snowy scape kind of vibe. And then over here, I just kind of arranged random pieces. Like I have different Rudolph characters and a Santa. And then just cute little deer and penguins. Over here, super simple, just candle, fake candle, flowers, fake flowers. Over here is also just simple vibes. There's candy in there. And then over here is the start of our little Christmas village. Still has a little ways to go. I don't have that many things, but it's a cute start. Eventually I'll show you the bedroom, but I wanna wait until we get our tree and stuff set up, but it's, it's off to a good start. But over here we also have just cute little wreath and picture. We also threw a picture up there as well. Here's kind of the living room from afar. So cute, it's so cute. I definitely wanna do something with this area. My idea is to get a bunch of fake flowers from like Dollar Tree. Oh, speaking of Dollar Tree, I switched out these flowers to be Christmassy before they were orange and black. Now they are black and Christmas. Um, but I wanna get more Dollar Tree flowers and cut off all the stems so it's just the flower part and like just shove it all throughout the different facets of the little knickknacks and I definitely want to do something with this table but I'm liking it so far. Look at you guys. Don't run away like you weren't just cuddling him. Oh you guys are so warm in the sun. All right how's it going? Today was a good productive day. Got my nails done again. It was time. They were looking bad. 
Um, I filmed this look. I filmed with that quartz collection from ColourPop that I showed you. And I also started filming the beginning segments of my makeup collection and declutter series coming soon. I filmed complexion products today and it was so satisfying. I cut it down like in half and I'm so excited to start this series. That'll be going up. Hopefully it'll start before this vlog goes up, but it keeps getting pushed back because of other things that need to get uploaded. So we'll see when it starts. It's going to start soon though. And then I also just got sent the new ASP tape palette. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to start filming with it tomorrow. Look at how beautiful beautiful it is. It's the Tropical Vibes palette. It's so pretty. I'm immediately just going to start filming a two looks video tomorrow because I know I'm not going to be able to get a first impressions up within like the next couple days. So I'm just going to start filming a two look so that that can go up soon, which I think will be up before this vlog as well. So you can check that out if you want. Oh, it's so pretty. So we decorated the upstairs tree. Very cute and vibey. And Santa already came. He left as an orange boy. <laughs> Felix, you love a tree. You love the tree, baby. First peppermint mocha of the season. So it's gonna be perfect since I'm gonna be filming here in a second. Look at how our cute, spooky, Nightmare Before Christmasified little tree came out. I love it. I found this on Amazon and it's perfect for the vibes. Um, tree is from Amazon. I found this perfect bow at Walmart recently and just various ornaments from various places. Some are from Michael's during Halloween time. Some are from Joanne's during Halloween time. I've had this one for a long time. A friend gave me this. Uh, just various ornaments in various places. I love them. And then over here, this is very similar to what it used to be. I just kind of added some of our living room decor from Halloween to it just to I don't know, make it cute. And I added this from at home that I picked up during Halloween time for this purpose. And then over here on the bookshelf, the top shelf is Halloweenified also. I'm gonna turn off the lights and give you a good view of it. I love this like little Halloween nutcracker I got during Halloween time at, at home. And same with this. It, they just add to that Halloween Christmas vibe so nicely. Hi Leela, do you approve? Do you approve? Here we are with the spooky nighttime vibes. Look how cool this tree looks when it's dark. It's so awesome. And then here's this when it's dark. Oh, I love it so much. And then of course we have our cute Nightmare Before Christmas Squishmallows with the cute wallpaper. Forgot to mention this final edition. This is the scary wreath we got at Spirit Halloween this year and I feel like it completes the room perfectly. I'm so obsessed with this game right now. It's so cute and cozy and I love it. Basically you just go through and unpack boxes like you're moving into a place. I'll show you. So yeah, you're just in this, this is my, my house right now. And it's just different scenarios and you just have all these boxes to unpack and it's kind of a puzzle game because you have to kind of fit things into spots but it's very relaxing and i love it all right hi <laughs> today has been such a day it's been a day <laughs> basically uh it's saturday and i went to go to work this morning as i do almost every saturday and our car decided to just not start it like wouldn't turn like the dial wouldn't turn from park into reverse uh, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I know it's early, but I'm not stupid. I know how to work my car. Um, so I asked Zane to come out and it wouldn't work either. So I had to call a lifeline. Uber was going to take literally forever to get to me. So I called a lifeline. My father-in-law came, picked me up and took me to work. Thankfully, I have some of my favorite guests today. So like everyone was understanding that I was running a little behind. And thankfully, I was able to kind of catch up like halfway through the day. Uh, so it could have been worse. Could have been worse. Could have been a worse start to the day. Um, but yeah, that was a weird wrench. Honestly, his, my father-in-law is so sweet. He even came back and Zane came in and brought me, uh, a peppermint mocha from Starbucks because my day was just so <laughs> trash in the beginning, but it ended up working out. Uh, we did end up getting the car towed and it's at the dealership right now. I don't remember what Zane thinks the problem is. He actually ended up getting the car working like later that morning. He drove it around the neighborhood and everything, but we decided just to take it in just in case something's wrong. Better nip it in the bud now. We have like an extended warranty, so it's all covered. It's not the end of the world. Mostly just inconvenient since we just have one car. Uh, but yeah, put a wrench in my weekend because we were gonna go to Universal tomorrow and now we don't have a car. It's not gonna be fixed until I think they said Wednesday because they're really behind right now. 
So that sucks. Thankfully, we are able to borrow Zane's mom's car for the next few days so I can get to work and stuff, but I'm so sad. I was so excited to go to Universal. We were gonna go to different home stores and look at holiday decor, but it's okay. We'll just do that next Sunday, provided we have a working car. Um, and this whole event just kind of made me realize maybe it's time for us to get a second car. Zane and I have been very content not having two cars because we just didn't need it. He works from home for the time being and we don't really do separate things, but it's moments like this where I'm like, dang, if we would have just had two cars, it wouldn't have been the end of the world if I couldn't take the other car. So we're potentially gonna get a new car tomorrow or at least in the near future. We have like three that we're deciding between. We definitely want a hybrid, preferably a hybrid that can also be charged with a battery. We have a hybrid right now and we love it. Um, we don't think we want a fully electric car just because then we have to get a like, battery thing installed. We don't want to have to rush to do that. We want kind of the option of either. Um, so we have three options we're deciding between. Uh, we're actually going to go get dinner with Zane's parents tonight and just kind of get their advice on what they think would be best. It's kind of like three totally different price points and three totally different types of car. I don't know how to explain it. I don't want to get too deep into it because I don't want to talk about it and then let's go a completely different direction. I'll just show you what we get whenever we get it, if we get it. Uh, but yeah, we might do that this weekend. Not as fun as going to Universal, but still exciting. I wasn't planning on getting a second car anytime soon, but I think now is just the time. We can do it. It's fine. The other car's paid off, so at least we won't have two car payments. So I don't know what the next few days are going to look like. I thought this vlog was going to be Christmas decorating and going to Universal, but now it's just chaos. It's not really that chaotic. It's just... This is not how I expected the weekend to go, you know? I figured I'd just hop on and tell you what's going on in our lives since... This is a weird wrench that got thrown in, but it's all right. Um, I'm going to just do some more editing. I've been doing some editing the last like hour or so after I got off work um, before we go to dinner. I have a couple sponsored videos coming up soon, so that's really exciting. I'm very pumped. I've been doing usually like one a month or so, but I think I have two or three happening this month, which is so cool. I'm very pumped. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna work on doing some more editing and then head off to dinner and then tonight I'm gonna come home Get all cozy and play. Let's build a zoo because the official let's build a zoo game came out No more demo. I played the demo months ago and I fell in love But the actual game is out now as of yesterday and I played it for a little while and it's so cute And I want to play it more I'm actually starting my zoo over because I realized in playing it yesterday all the things I was doing wrong So I want to do it again. Oh, it's so cute. I'll try to remember to show you a little bit later. Good morning, another day, another Starbucks. Hot tip, get the toasted white chocolate mocha with sugar cookie syrup in it. It's so good, it literally tastes like cookie dough. It's delightful. I got a tall with three pumps of it, by the way, in case the ratio matters, but just kind of do whatever you feel like. Actually, did I do three pumps? Yeah, I did do three pumps. And I did oat milk, because I prefer oat milk. Zane just got a basic drink. Well, it's a holiday. <laughs> I just meant a not customized drink. Yeah. Did you get the caramel brulee or the chestnut one? The chestnut praline. Those are his two favorites. Because the last time I got this, I got an extra pump of praline and it was really sweet. It was really good. But this time I was like, maybe I don't need it. And I don't. It's good. We are going to go grocery shopping soon and potentially looking at some holiday decor just in town since we're not in Universal today. <laughs> I'll film at some point. I got started getting ready, but I kind of gave up. And we're going to a dealership today to potentially get a new car. So we'll see how it goes. We aren't getting it today, I don't think, but we're at least going to talk well, to somebody. Well, the one that I saw online isn't there. It's being shipped to the dealership, but they might have some in stock that they haven't listed yet. That's so true. We'll talk to them, and then if it's not... If it's sketchy or not a good deal, mm -hmm. we'll just leave. <laughs> Whole Foods has 5 million plant-based soups, and I'm living for it. There's so many options and so many chilies. I love it. All right, got a grocery haul coming for you. Haven't done a grocery haul in a while, and we got pretty much everything at Whole Foods. We don't usually go major grocery shopping at Whole Foods. We usually just stop there for a couple things, but we decided today let's just see, like, all the things we can get. And honestly, like we can do all of our grocery shopping there. I don't know why we haven't done that sooner. And they have so many options for like vegetarian and vegan friendly things. So it might become our new go-to grocery shopping place. I know that's not news, but <laughs> it's news for us. But we did go to Target for a little bit of stuff, but mostly Whole Foods. Got some bananas, some Granny Smith apples, some eggs, corn, 
Um, oat milk. These are the best veggie hot dogs ever. I've talked about it before. And we found a chili that we wanted to try with them. And we also found these fake pepperonis. And we've had fake pepperonis before, but we haven't had the field roast ones. And we love field roast. We've never seen these before. So very excited about those. And this mindful chicken is amazing. We like to have this in pastas and things like that, like Alfredo and stuff. It's delicious. Uh, just got some cheese slices because we want to have grilled cheese and tomato soup at some point. Uh, found a plant-based bacon to have BLTs with. Got an avocado for burritos. Some romaine lettuce, some mushrooms. Uh, tempeh for no reason in particular, but kind of like to just have that on deck in case we need just something to eat for dinner. Got a couple tomatoes and these I like to just snack on. Found these two mac and cheese from Chickpea Pasta, which we haven't tried these before. We did try a rice made from this before and it was okay. The taste was good, the texture was weird, but we figured we'd give the macaroni a try. Got some hot dog buns, got some Dave's Keller bread. This is our favorite bread, specifically the thin sliced white bread done right. And we also got the Dave's Keller bread English muffins, which I have not tried before. Um, and we found this pizza crust that sounded really good. And it just seemed like good ingredients and stuff like that. So we figured we'd give this pizza crust to try and it came with two of them. We found this ramen broth. They actually had a really wide range of broths that were like vegetarian, but they weren't just like veggie broth. Like they had like a fake chicken broth, fake beef broth, the ramen broth that's not meat based. So that was really cool. Just got some quinoa. This plant boss plant taco crumbles. These are so good. We got this as a sample from Whole Foods once actually. And it was amazing. And this actually goes a really long way. It says it only serves like four servings, but the sample we had was supposed to be just for one person, but we were able to make it work for two people. So this will last us uh, quite a while. And this is amazing in burritos and tacos. Got a mushroom gravy, not really for any reason in particular, but when Thanksgiving comes around, uh, we have a really hard time finding not meat gravies. So we just grabbed this just thinking ahead. Um, and we found this chili just to maybe have one night. Never heard of it, but it sounded really good. So yeah. Got some onion powder because we ran out. Olive oil because we ran out. Got some stir fry sauce because we make tofu stir fry pretty frequently. Got a couple plant-based jerkies. Zane likes these more than I do. He loves snacking on these. I just kind of forget about them. Um, got a few Halo Top ice creams. These are so yummy. I got chocolate, peanut butter, and mint chip. Lots of soups because it's soup season. Gardein has some of my favorite soups ever. Um, so there's the plant-based beef and vegetable. Probably my favorite one from them. Um, we found this uh, plant-based chili. This is the one we want to try with the hot dogs. And also this sausage gumbo. Just got some black beans for burritos. We found this, the seitan soups. We haven't tried these before, but we got Italian wedding and what's this one? Chicken noodle. We also got tomato soup for grilled cheeses. And we found these vegetarian baked beans from Amy's and I love the Amy's brand. So we figured we'd have those at some point. We found this no dairy white pizza sauce to have with the pizza and pickles just because I love to snack on pickles. Um, we found these plant-based roasts that we figured we'd have for dinner one night. And then from Hillary's, which we've never tried the Hillary's brand before, we got these meatless breakfast sausages, some veggie burgers, and then we just got some tofu. And then from Target, just a couple things. I couldn't resist this peppermint bark ice cream. I also found this Boom Chicka Pop white chocolate peppermint kettle corn. Thought that might be a good snack. We still have a lot of Halloween candy, so I'm actually not even going to open these Christmas candies for a little while, but they were on sale. And I just had to have them. They're so cute. And then we actually just got this cornbread mix for uh, that chili I showed earlier. And then just a couple more things. A blanket. Black leggings because I needed a new pair. And then we each got a Starbucks cup because the holiday cups were out and they're very cute. This one is mine. And this one is Zane's. They're very cool. And the straws are even like all detailed and stuff too. Like they feel smooth, but they have that cool design in them. Hello, I'm in a new car. We got a new car. Okay, we haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> but we are in the car that is going to be ours very soon. Um, we basically just spent all day yesterday going to different dealerships and talking to different people. And we ended up finding one that we really like. We didn't think we were end gonna end up getting one yesterday, to be honest with you. Um, but we found one. It's a Lexus something. It's a 2019 Lexus. It's kind of like a tiny SUV, but I don't even really want to call it that because it's not big at all, but it has a hatchback. We actually have the seats pushed down back here just because we don't have children. So we'll probably just kind of keep that as just like a big open 
anything to store stuff if we go to the stores and shop and things like that. Um, it only has 22,000 miles on it. It has so many safety features that our other car doesn't have, um, which that car should be out of the shop by like tomorrow or Wednesday. It's going to be out soon. There's nothing majorly wrong with it um, that we know of as of right now. It just needs to be looked at. Uh, but yeah, we're loving this car. The place lets you do a 24 hour test drive. So we took it home last night. Um, and we already started like the whole process of buying it yesterday, but their interest rate was not very good and we can get a better interest rate with our credit union. So I'm actually heading to pick Zane up now. I just got off work and we're going to go to the bank and get it financed there. And then after Zane gets off work tonight at five, we're going to head back over to the dealership and this car will be ours. And I'm so excited. I actually didn't think this was the car that we were going to get because in my mind, I'm kind of scared of larger cars. I'm just very comfortable in sedans and small cars. So anything larger than that kind of intimidates me, but this is so comfortable. It's not huge. It feels like my other car. I mean, it feels a little bit bigger, but not in like a scary way. Um, I just, I love it. I immediately fell in love with it. And I was like, you know, I want this car. This is the car we're going to get. Uh, yeah, so that's very exciting. I will show you what the car looks like when I get to the house. It's beautiful. I think it's really cute and it's just so cozy in here. There's so much like leg room and stuff like that. And I just love all the safety features. I feel very comfortable in this car. And it's so exciting that we have two cars. Zane and I have always shared a car the like eight plus years we've been together. Um, so this is, I don't know, it feels like a nice step, a nice big milestone for us. So yeah, I just wanted to pop on and update you on what's been going on with us. Uh, new car, very exciting. Look how cute she is. And what kind of car is this again? Because I was telling the vlog it's a Lexus, but I didn't it's know what Lexus, it was. It's a Lexus, like UX250H. It doesn't have a cool <laughs> funky name like Fusion or Elantra. It's got numbers. But it's, it's so cute. And then like just for size comparison, like here's this versus like our neighbor's car yeah like it's it's small like it's actually probably the same length as our current car we just got done at the bank we got the loan it's exciting to like have all of it official we're just at a storage unit now for zane's work he had to get something for work um and then in a couple hours we're gonna go officially buy the car and i'm so excited big accomplishments. You know what? I think I'll just end the vlog here because there's nothing else going on besides us just actually buying the car and you've already seen the car. So like nothing new will happen. I guess if something disastrous happens, I'll let you know, but I think everything will be fine. So oh, there's Zane using the hatchback. <laughs> How's it going? Good. I'm closing out the vlog. Do you have anything you want to say? No, I'm working. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, why don't you leave me, I don't know, some car emojis. We just bought a car. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything. I post every day on Instagram and I am pretty active on TikTok and Twitter as well. And if you want, you can subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I post most days over here. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.